If I'm being honest, Mikasa has the potential to become basically a human goddess of war and battle. There's no telling the damage she could do to the Titans, especially if she and Levi fight side by side. But all of that potential, her strength, her immense love and protection, it's wasted on Eren. Eren, who chastises her and sends her away, or at least tries to, anytime she worries over his safety. She would give her life to protect him. She has been protecting him since the day they met. And he treats her that way? Her love and protection would be better used on someone else, pretty much anyone else. Sasha, Armin, even John, he's changed, unlike some people. She deserves so much better than that. Yeah, not to mention she looks and acts like a man. Go jump in a titan's mouth, would you? Thank you. Still, though, she doesn't deserve to have to be so attached to him. She should love someone who can actually treat her well. She deserves that much, at least. That one's rather stubborn. I did try to fix her, just for you, my darling, but she didn't seem to want that. She ran from me. I would be very careful if I were you. Who knows what she could do to you in this world? I just want you to be safe, my little doll. What are you doing out here so late? And all by yourself, too. You should be in bed by now, shouldn't you? You just wanted to take a walk? All by yourself? In the middle of the night? You needed to clear your head. I see. That isn't a very wise thing to do in this world. After all, you don't belong to this world. You don't belong to us. You don't know the way this world works. No, no, certainly not. There isn't anything dangerous out here. But there are twists and turns that'll make your mind spin. Pathways that lead to nowhere. Things that seem rather strange to outsiders. You could get lost here, and no one would ever be able to find you. You don't want that now, do you? What if you do? No one of this world would be able to find you if you continued to run and hide from us. However, that means that you wouldn't be able to find that little door, the one that leads back to your world. You would spend the rest of your days running and hiding from whatever it is that's upset you so much. And that's no way to live now, is it? After all, I thought that's why you came to this world. To escape a life like that. Why immediately run back to it or try to duplicate it in this world? Unless... She told you. Didn't she? She told you what it would take for you to stay here. For you to be safe from your world. For you to belong to her to this world entirely. That's why that look is on your face, isn't it? You know exactly what it would take. And she insisted on it, didn't she? That's fine. You don't have to tell me anything. I can see it in your eyes. 
quite literally, actually. The fact that you still have eyes at all, that tells me everything I need to know. I overheard you talking with Armin. He said that there was a way for you to stay here. You said that you wanted to stay. He made sure of that. When you returned home, well, to your home in this world, he told her what you said, didn't he? That you wanted to stay here. She was thrilled, I'm sure. She brought you inside, made you a warm meal, and afterward, she showed you the buttons, a spool of thread, and a needle, so sharp you won't feel a thing. Is that what happened? Don't look away from me. You can avert your gaze simply with a flit of your eyes. But it's rude to do so when your partner in conversation doesn't have that luxury. You aren't rude, are you? I didn't think so. So, is that essentially what happened? Is that what terrified you into coming out here in an attempt to run away? I'm surprised. You're the first to run. You're the first to not be tempted. What's this? You don't know, do you? You're not the first one to come to this world. You're hardly the first to be drawn in by its charms, by its safety, its promise to fulfill your every desire and to make every day that you spend here absolutely perfect. You're not the first to come back day after day, night after night. You're not the first to say that you want to stay. The others, however, they weren't quite so shocked by what was needed in order to stay here. They didn't seem to mind the cost of a permanent place in this world. Why would anyone choose such a fate? Why wouldn't they? It's just a little bit of pain. Just a pinch, really. Just a little bit of a burning sensation. You only need to sacrifice your eyes. You don't need to sacrifice anyone else, or anything else. Only your eyes. And then, you're safe. You're happy. You can have anything you want, and you never have to leave. You never have to go back to a world in which you fight every day to survive. Can you honestly look at me and say that that isn't tempting? Can you honestly say that you would blame those who chose this? Can you honestly say that you aren't considering it right now? Turning back, walking to the house, waking her up and saying, do it. I'm ready. I didn't think so. But still, there's something stopping you. And what might that be? 
Your friends said they were worried about you? I take it you mean those from your world, correct? Did they say why they were worried about you? Aaron said that you were sleeping an awful lot. He worried that you might be depressed and avoiding reality. And Armin said that the little door seemed suspicious. He said it resembled fairy stories, the kind in which humans make deals with fairies and then they lose everything because of a little loophole or a riddle that they didn't understand. The me from your world? What did she say? She said that something was off about you. She said that being near you made her skin prickle. I see. I suppose I can do that much for you. If you have a question, I'll do my best to answer. Why does she need to sew buttons in your eyes? This world is vastly different from yours in ways that you have yet to understand. This world is fabric where yours is stone. Buttons come in place of flesh where our eyes are. It's as if we're all just dolls in some child's imagination. The buttons will make sure that you belong to this world, that you can never return to your world. Are there any downsides to letting her sew in the buttons? The buttons... She was the first of us here. She created this world. Just for you. Just for all of the others who came before you. She changed it for them. To make sure that they would feel welcome and safe. The buttons... They allow her to see this world, to make sure everything is in order, no matter whose eyes they replace. The buttons allow her to make sure that no one lies to you, that no one says ridiculous things such as, this place isn't truly safe for you. The buttons make certain that no one makes up scary stories to frighten you away, saying things like, she is far worse than a titan, for she will devour you slowly while telling you that she loves you, all while you wish that you could leave to your world. But once the buttons are in, there's nothing you can do. Do you understand? Why would I tell you this? Why do you think? She tried to change me because of what you said about me. She tried to make me less attached to Aaron in this world. She tried to set me free from the burden of caring about him when he so very clearly has little regard for my concerns over his well-being. 
she snipped away the threads that bound us, the threads that tied me to him. But she snipped one too many. I am bound to no one. I belong to no one. She may have made me for you, to make this world seem familiar, but I am no longer hers. And I like it this way. I don't want to see anyone else getting tangled up in her web of deceit. I don't want to watch her drain the life from you, the way that this world is draining hers. That's why she does this, so that you can sustain her and she can sustain this world. But you don't have to. I can get you back to the door. You just need to trust me. Trust that I want to protect you now. Do you think you can do that?